Let's talk about celibacy and how celibacy allows you to see things clearly. The hormones released during intimacy, it tends to keep you bonded to a man, even a man who may treat you horribly. A lot of people don't understand what soul ties, what it really, really is. I'm thinking about how much progress I have made in my life. You know, since I've decided, I'm celibate anyway. It, you know, I already told you I hang out with the rabbit and the rose predominantly. Yeah, that's that's just my life, which is awesome. Um, Let me see this light here. It's messed up. Yeah. Okay, that works. And I know of so many other people who are choosing celibacy because they're on their um, spiritual journey. Let me share this um this clip with you and we'll come back and talk about it. Oh, hell. Everything that's in him and on him, you're submitting to. This is why I've chosen celibacy. And if you have not watched that video yet, you should. Because he explained it so well, especially coming from a man. And it's actually sad that this is not taught in school, nor openly discussed in a household. Because this is one of the things that I wish I knew when I was younger, before I even started experimenting with a lot of stuff. So this is mostly to my younger women out there. Because I want you to protect your energy. I want you to protect yourself. Yeah? So let me tell you about soul ties. Soul ties are those emotional and spiritual connections that are formed through engaging with someone sexually. And through that activity, we form deep bonds with this individual, which actually affects us emotionally, physically, and spiritually. Let me give you an example of how this affects us. Let's say you had a one night stand and that person had depression and anxiety. Since sex is an energy exchange between people, that low vibrational energy is also passed on to you. How much? I don't know. We cannot see energy. And so let's say that person also had past partners. Let's say about 10 partners. Those 10 people, eight out of them, let's say, had anxiety or traumatic experiences like most of us had. Since that was in the past, they also did the energy exchange. They also exchanged this low vibrational energy. And now that he has done it with you, their energies were with him too when he did it with you. You get me? It's like a, a web of energy exchange. Now, you only did it with this person, but you got the energy of some people. And since we cannot segregate energy, we don't know which energies were shared with you. Because, like I said, it's a web of shared energies between a lot of people. Here's another good example. I have not met anyone who is sleeping around, drinking, living the life, who is not feeling lost. If they tell you that they're feeling great or they're okay whatsoever, they're, they're, they're lying because deep down inside they're feeling so lost because of so many people that they've engaged with. Just imagine how much energy he had to exchange between a lot of people already. That will make you feel lost for sure. And that's why choosing celibacy for me is one of the best decisions I've done in my life because now I can focus with my own energy and I can heal from my past relationships. Now that you are aware of this, be careful and protect what you can now. Everything that's in him and on him, you're submitting to. Finally, a lot of people are waking up and that's why a lot of people are choosing celibacy, you know, because when you think about uh, the people in this world today, a lot of people have uh, depression, anxiety, uh, mental illness, uh, so many um, dysfunctional things about themselves. And when you're exchanging en the energy, you know, with these type of people, some people are walking around literally who have a very, very demonic spirit. And that's why they say sexually transmitted demons. Because when you're laying up sleeping with people, you are exchanging whatever issues they have, and now you're having these issues. And you, 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 you ask yourself, what the hell is going on with me? I don't even recognize myself anymore. What's happening to me? 
a lot of the times this is pretty much it. So like she recommends and like the gentleman recommends, you have to be careful. And yes, celibacy is proving to be very, very helpful to so many people. Let me read some of the comments that we have here. One person says, I started my celibacy journey this year. Even bought myself a ring to remind myself of the promise I made. Uh, somebody gave me anger issues. <laughs> one, <laughs> one person slept with someone who obviously had anger issues and now they have anger issues. And another person says, celibacy is so peaceful. Another woman says, this resonates 100%. She says, I had personal social experiments six to seven years ago been a celibate ever since it took a lot of healing energy to clear the toxic energy from only two of two body count another person says i grew up in a strict christian household i waited till marriage and it was the best decision i ever made and it's also a beautiful feeling yeah okay until he cheats on you and then he's passing that energy on to you not saying that he will cheat but i know the kind of world that we live in sweetheart really Another person makes it very clear. Her name is uh, Chang. There's always a piece of them within you, either a bad energy or a demonic energy. Energy is everything. Picking men and women who have pure, unbothered energy, good luck finding that. Another woman here says, so far, I've been celibate for seven years. It's so uplifting and very peaceful. Another young lady, she says she's 24 years old now, and she's still protecting herself. So anyway, I guess you, uh, you get the point of where I'm going with this. You have to be careful. Soul ties is very real. And um, I'm sure that you want the best for your life. And anyway, the Bible says marriage, sex belongs within marriage anyway, between one man and one woman. And every time people seem to think that they know more than God and Christ, we always end up screwed. You know, we have to follow the one who created us, the one who designed us. And when they give us instructions on how we're supposed to live, when we live it accordingly to the scriptures and according to the one who designed us, our life turns out successful. And we don't have to worry about sexually transmitted demons. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. I got to get ready for work. It's, uh, it's early. I got to hurry up. Okay. I love you.